base off him, the leadoff hitter in this ball game. That's the eighth strikeout for Burns. So important for him to retire Shelby and Landrum. That way he wouldn't have to face Ripken and or Murray with anybody on base. This so may be his last hitter, even though he's pitched so well. Landrum, not the deep threat, but when you get to Ripken, Murray, Renneke after that, but let's see what LaRusa decides. This ball is what blasted by Tito Landrum. What did I say? It is gone. How about that? Tito Landrum begins the year at Louisville in the Cardinal chain, and he's on cloud nine right now with birds of a different feather, the Baltimore Orioles. He had one home run in 41 at bats during the regular season, and he threw a jolt, and out comes the Russo. I wonder if Tony wasn't thinking the same thing we were. It's a reasonable let, thought. Yeah, let Landrum stay in there, and then when Ripken, Murray, Renneke come up, he had Barrojas, I believe, ready. Landrum knows it. What a great effort by that guy, that young man. Rick Burns, still not over with. The White Sox have had trouble scoring runs. A standing ovation, and he has earned every bit of this applause. Hold your head high, young man. You did yourself proud today. Tito Landrum has put the Orioles within half an inning of the World Series. As the pitching change is made, we'll return after this. 